So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with these three points here, A, B and C. We're going to find the vector equation of the plane that goes through those three points, just like we did in the previous video. Then we're going to take that equation, that vector equation, and we're going to try and convert that into Cartesian form. Okay? So, first of all, let's find the vector equation of the plane going through those three points. So we know that it's going to be of the form r equals, and I'm going to start with a position vector. Let's choose a, 1, 5, 3, plus lambda times one direction vector, plus mu times another direction vector. So let's choose uh, the first direction vector to be a, b. So that's going to be o, b, 0, 7, 1, take away o, a, so 1, 5, 3, and so we've got 0 take away 1, so minus 1, 7 take away 5 is 2, and 1 take away 3 is minus 2. So minus 1, 2, minus 2. Then AC, that'll be our other direction vector, so that'll be OC, minus 2, 9, 10, take away uh, OA, so 1, 5, 3. So minus 2 take away 1 is minus 3, 9 take away 5 is 4, 10 take away 3 is 7. So minus 3, 4, 7. Okay, so this is the vector equation of the plane going through those three points. Okay, so I'm just going to erase this to give myself a little bit more room. So the job now is to try and convert this into Cartesian form. Now, we know that R is x, y, z. Okay, R is equal to x, y, z because R represents any position vector of a point on the plane. And it will be of that form. So that means we've got a top row, a middle row, a bottom row. So we have x equals 1 take away lambda take away 3 mu. We've got y is equal to 5 plus 2 lambda plus 4 mu. And then we've got z is equal to 3 take away 2 lambda plus 7 mu. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to aim to eliminate the two parameters, the lambda and the mu, because we want to get to one equation that just has x's, y's, and z's. Now, when we had this before with the equation of a line, that was much more straightforward. But now that we've got lambdas and mu's, it's a little bit more problematic. So let's call these equations 1, 2, and 3. Okay. Now, before we go any further, if you have met the vector product already, you might be shouting at me, use the vector product, okay? The whole point of this is that we haven't met the vector product yet, okay, in the playlist. So I can't use that just yet. Um, if you were going to use the vector product, then yeah, you would find the vector product between those two vectors um, and use that, and then you can get to the Cartesian equation much quicker, okay? I'm going about this the more long-winded way Okay, so just so uh, those of you who are aware of what I'm talking about <laughs> uh, will be able to do that. Okay, so yes, there will be a quicker way later, essentially. That's what I'm saying. So what we'll do is we will eliminate the lambdas first. Okay, we can see that we've got plus two lambda and a minus two lambda. So if I eliminate and add y plus z together. So if I do equation 2 plus equation 3, I'll get rid of the lambdas. That'll make it a little bit nicer. So y plus z will be equal to 5 plus 3, so 8. And then they're gone, and we've got 4 mu plus 7 mu, so 11 mu. OK? So that's what we've got currently. And um, what that's going to enable us to do is get mu in terms of y and z. So I can rearrange this by subtracting 8 from both sides and dividing through by 11. So I now have mu in terms of y and z. 
Okay. Now, if I go back to equation number one, right? If I go back to equation number one, I can then rearrange this to get lambda equals. Okay, so equation one is x equals one take away lambda take away three mu. If I add the lambda to both sides and subtract x from both sides, I get this. Okay, so I've now got lambda equals, it's something in terms of mu, and then I could substitute this mu in here. Okay, so that I've then got mu and lambda both in terms of x, y's and z's. So I'm going to substitute this into that. So 1 take away x take away 3 lots of this. So um, what's the best way of writing that? Uh, I'll go 3 elevenths of y plus z take away 8. OK. Now I could multiply that out now, uh, but I'll just leave it alone for the time being. OK. So I've now got mu and lambda in terms of x's, y's, and z's. So I could substitute both of those into one of these equations now. OK? So, um, well, I've used all three in getting to them, so it doesn't really matter which one I choose. So let's choose uh, number two, for example. OK? So I could substitute the lambda and mu into this. y equals 5 plus 2 lots of lambda. 1 take away x take away 3 elevenths of y plus z take away 8. Plus 4 lots of mu plus 4 elevenths of y plus z take away 8. OK, I've now eliminated the lambdas and mu's. This is a Cartesian equation for the plane. It is obviously in an absolutely horrendous form at the moment. OK, so what I want to do is I want to uh, multiply this out, make this look a little bit better. So y equals 5 plus 2 take away 2x. Uh, then we're going to have two lots of 3 elevenths, so 6 elevenths. So minus 6 elevenths y, minus 6 elevenths z. Then we've got uh, 2 times minus 3 elevenths times minus 8. Uh, so 48 elevenths, so plus 48 elevenths. Then we've got this bit here. So I'm just getting on to the next line. So 4 elevenths y plus 4 elevenths z. Uh, take away 8 16, 32 elevenths. OK, so um, let's, right, let's simplify the right hand side first. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Right, we've got the 5 plus 2, so 5 plus 2. Then uh, plus 48 elevenths, uh, take away 32 elevenths, gets us 93 elevenths. We've then got minus 2x, so minus 2, oh well, that's it, so minus 2x. Uh, we've got minus 6 elevenths y, so minus 6 elevenths, uh, oh just plus 4 elevenths, so uh, minus 2 elevenths y, uh, minus 6 elevenths z plus 4 elevenths z would be minus 2 elevenths z. Right, OK, it's looking a little bit better. So what I'll do is I'll move these three terms onto the left-hand side, giving me 2x. Then I've got 2 elevenths plus 11 elevenths, so 13 elevenths y plus 2 elevenths z equals 93 elevenths. And let's get rid of the elevenths. So I'll multiply through by 11. 22x plus 13y plus 2z is equal to 93. OK. And so 
This is the uh, Cartesian form for the plane. Now, you can subtract the 93 from both sides and put it equal to zero. That's another form that you may recognize. OK, um, but how you want to kind of like look at that is you want to say to yourselves, OK, well, if we remember back to the planes information that we looked at previously, then this is the form N1x plus N2y plus N3z plus D equals zero. OK, um, where N1, N2, N3 is a vector that is uh, perpendicular to the plane. It is the normal vector to the plane. So 22, 13, 2 is a normal vector to the plane. And D was equal to minus A dotted with N, so using the scalar product. OK, so um, this is the Cartesian equation for a plane. OK, and you're seeing it. That's how we can get from that vector form to that. Now, as you can see, it is a horrible process OK, to do it that way. And I said, yeah, when we get to the vector product, that will make things easier. Because what we'll learn is a way of getting those two vectors and putting it through the vector product, and what we'll end up with is a vector that is perpendicular to those two vectors there, the two direction vectors. And that is a normal vector to the plane. So effectively, we'll get our coefficients of x, y, z through using the vector product. OK, but that's coming later. But this is how we can do it using the methods that we currently have.